Hey everyone, we're here in Plainville, Massachusetts. We're going to a uh, toy show today. Yep. Uh, it's at the Elks Lodge, I believe, right in Plainville. Uh, you can Google Mummy Productions and they will bring you up the convention schedule. Uh, so we're going to take a look inside and we'll get some video for you guys, okay? Check out the mystery machine behind us. Pretty cool way to start the show. And we'll be back at the end to show you what we got. Big Yes, yeah, so these are 19. Yes, you want in the backyard, so they have a new backyard in the wedge. No? Doctor no, says, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Yeah. Christmas, come on, wait. Look at all these presents. Oh, wedge, wedge. The fat legend seat. But who's that? And that was the show. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little look around the show. It was packed. Uh, it was hard to walk. I mean, they, they filled that uh, Elks Club uh, quite a bit. It was awesome. So many toys and collectibles, even if you weren't buying them just to see them. A lot of old TV and movie uh, posters, uh, memorabilia, comic books, you know, 50 cents, uh, just good prices on everything. Uh, this is the stuff we picked up today. Uh, we got this tin with eight packs of uh, Clone Wars cards in them. Uh, that was $5. We got this uh, box of, oh, I had it upside down. That was $15. It's a retail box of Star Wars Galaxies uh, Series 7. We got Bib Fortina. For, uh, we got that out of the 3 for 10. Yep, so the three packaged figures were uh, 3 for $10. Uh, look at that guy. Uh, what's he marked? 5. I mean, that's pretty cool for uh, $3.33. Got the little coin in there. Very cool. And then, yeah, this guy. I always like these guys. I the Rebel like Trooper? To, yeah, I like to collect them so I can actually have like real life battles. Like. And we got a 10 pack of action figures for uh, $10. We got. Including R2D2. <laughs> uh, another Clone Trooper. And this guy that with big green hair. Oh! Count Dooku. Uh, what's his name? Mace Windu. A clone trooper. Yep, I already said the clone trooper. Okay. Uh, we got evil for Uncle T. Yeah, that's evil one, and we got good one if you show him. He's crossing his hands. He was never really good. He pretended to be good, but you get the point. Yeah. We got Obi Wan Kenobi. And we got. Okay, let's just show him his hands a little. Hey. And we got a, Padme. Yeah, that's a pretty strange looking Padme. I think that's the Is that pregnant she... Padme? Hard yeah. to tell. That's uh, the one where she went to the lava land. So, that's lava land Padme. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I also got some uh, Archie comics uh, in the 50 cent box. These are the variants of the death of uh, Archie that I never picked up. Uh, I don't, you know, buy multiple copies of one. For 50 cents a piece, I'll add them to my collection. Let's open these. Let's do it up. Yeah, let's do it up. Yeah, we can have the epic.
epic battle. We had a, when I walked in, I saw the um, new non-sport update. And by the time I got back to it, I should have bought it right away. I didn't want to carry it. They were sold out. But we saw uh, a lot of autographed non-sports um, inserts, relics, autographed cards, lots tons of action figures. So the snow trooper here comes with a little base with the coin and the pegs there. So you put them on the <laughs> pegs here. Let's see where the holes are. There you go. And then you got a nice little display for them. Look at that, huh? Nice little coin, Power of the Force. Snow Trooper, always one of my favorite figures. Lucy. All right, so he has the little pea shooter weapon. Pea shooter. You can open up bib. Very cool. I mean, $3.33, can't go wrong with that. I know they made a trillion of them. Yeah, you know, we open them up. Why the heck not? We got all my action um, figures downstairs opened up. That, this yep. is actually a sticker. Yep, that's a hologram sticker they put over the photos. That's how you can tell Series 1 from Series 2. Mm -hmm. It's not a sticker anymore. Oh, is that a blaster? Yeah, he doesn't use it in the, the movies or anything, but he did have a weapon. Oh, it's sticky. Because of the glue. It's been a... Uh, God, when did these come out? These were 95, 96, let me see. 96 Hasbro. So we're looking at almost uh, 20 years old already. When I, back, <laughs> it's funny because these are 20 years old now and they're, they're pretty much three for $10 bin. But if you go back to uh, Phantom Menace, that was 20 years ago for the first wave of Star Wars figures. I don't know what that was. Something was making sounds in the basement. So we're going to do a box break uh, after this with the Star Wars Galaxy box. But Lucas felt eight packs of these Clone Wars weren't really enough for their own box break video. So we're going to open them up, take a look at them right now yeah. in this super cool collector tin. If you get a chance to go to that show in Plainfield, if you Google uh, My Mummy Productions, you'll get the upcoming schedule. They do it like once a month, like the card show in Mansfield. Uh, right off the highway... Well, not right off the highway, but close enough to the 495 in Massachusetts. It wasn't that bad. So you got the you got the little insert there. You can take out, put more cards or figures in there. So this is Clone Wars All New Season Two: Rise of the Bounty Hunters. Um, boom, 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 boom. Foil cards one to three, motion cards one to six is the two inserts in this. So let's see what we got here. So these are the cards. Rise of the Bounty Hunters. Cool little backs. So far, I haven't gotten any bounty hunters. The mysterious newbie, who of course is Boba Fett. Uh, and I got the foil card. Boba Fett foil card. Cool. Very cool. I like things like this because it costs more if you got them on eBay just to ship them out to you. So, I mean, five bucks for a tin with some packs. Pretty cool. Hey, I got, oh, I got the hologram, uh, the lenticular card. Look. Whoa. Collect so, five motion cards. This is three out of five. Dad, you've already gotten both of the inserts, right? Uh, you may get one. I know, but we both got both of the, Dad, you got both of the inserts, right? Well, you gave me the packs. So? So whose fault's that? I ask you. So, but you, but we, I guess we got both of the inserts. We went everywhere this weekend looking for the new uh, Journey to the Force Awakens cards uh, that are supposed to be out. Everywhere, mm -hmm. it's yeah, either it sold is. out or they didn't get them. Oh, is that the first card? Yeah, that's card. Oh, actually, that's the checklist card. Cool. I like that card. Ooh, Dad. Oh, a Soka foil card. A Soka foil card. Let me see that. Cool. A Soka. Here's my uh, first. So of course, a Soka is a 
back in uh, Star Wars Rebels. Yep. These are all the screen captures. The mighty, mighty C-3PO. Oh, I didn't, wait. Oh, I didn't even know that was... Oh, okay. Here, Dad, here's the rest all right, of I got a foil Grievous. Cool shot out of Ahsoka. Oh, God. Oh, Dad, there's an example of what... Scary episode right there. That was creepy. Dad, now we have an example of what... Uh, uh, this one, uh, the plane troopers are going to be like. Yeah, a little preview of them. Wah, wah, wah. Is that your last pack? Yeah. Yep. Any cool shots in there? Uh, no, no. Yes. Oh, nice. No. Colorful. A lot of these are pretty dark. No. So anytime you get that no. kind of color, it's cool. Rise of the kind Bounty of. Hunters. Kind of. All right, so that's eight packs. That Five dollars. This one. This one kind of looks. Uh, so we got the three foil cards and the one motion card. Uh, I think Lucas had a good time at the show. Yep. Yep. Uh, we'll definitely be back to the next one in October. Uh, and so... also look out for a. Uh, you know how we opened the, those new uh, Star Wars action figures? Yep. Well, we now have boxes of um, uh, with the figures and ships. Some are new figures or ships. Some are original figures with ships. So make sure you look out for that too. Yep, we'll have a whole series where you have all the ships from the new Force Awakens series uh, that we'll be unboxing, showing off. Uh, so if you're just here for the sports cards, we'll be back to that real soon too. Uh, we're going to do a retro box break. I always got my eye out for the new football cards. Haven't seen anything out yet though, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. Um, and we'll be at the next... Uh, uh, where the heck was it? Not Plainville. Uh, Franklin. The next Franklin Mass card show. Our collectible show, rather, because there was a lot of stuff we kind of wanted, but we're on, you know, above our budget for today. But we'll be back there again soon. So if you're ever in the market, are you looking for toys or action figures or non-sports cards, definitely check that place out. It's uh, well worth the time and visit. So that's our recap of the... Uh, also, lots of magazines there. A lot of magazines, posters, records, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, if you're into... Uh, meet, uh, lots of Star Wars action figures. Tons of them. I mean, as cheap as a buck a piece, you can't go wrong, right? Uh, Ooh. Very cool. Very successful show. A lot of people attended, as you can see in the videos. Uh, very cool. So if you're ever in the area and want to go there, uh, keep an eye out for us. Uh, we'll be walking around there checking it out. Uh, so that's it for us for now. We're going to be back soon with the Star Wars uh, Galaxy Series 7 box break and then uh, some toy breaks. So stick with us. Bye.